What do you mean? How am I? What does that mean? Sort of like me. Sort of like you? I hope to God she didn't tell Nikki that. Why? Because it's not right. Lumping you and I together, it's just wrong. And Nikki wouldn't like that. Especially after the shit you just told me. You think I'm crazier than you. Well, because we're different. Oh I'm... my god. You know what? Forget it. Forget I offered to help you. Forget the entire fucking idea because it must have been so fucking crazy because I'm so much crazier than you. Keep your voice down. I'm, I'm just a crazy slut with a dead husband. Forget it. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you! You shut the fuck up! Tiffany! Hey, Tiffany! Look! Come on. I don't think you're crazy, okay? Yes, you do. No, I don't. <sighs> you probably told your therapist that you were in some superior mental illness category, didn't you? What? Hey, calm down. Hey, can Leave I just me alone. can I just explain, please? I didn't want Nikki thinking that I was associated with that type of sexual behavior, because I've never done anything like that. Okay? You may not have experienced the same shit that I have, but you loved hearing about it, didn't you? You're afraid to be alive. You're afraid to live. You're a hypocrite. You're a conformist, and you're a liar. I opened up to you, and you judged me. The book is the most important thing you will touch in your whole life, including your newborn children and eventually the face of God. We bring the book and her dry cleaning to her house. To her house? Damn it, I did it again. Miranda will ask you when she trusts you and feels like you're Worthy. Until then, I get the lovely I get the lovely task of staying here late at night, waiting for the apartments to be done. She wants to see you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait. I'm begging you. Thank you. What is it? Osborne Cox. Never heard of them. Yeah, because you're so plugged in with the intelligence community. I'm just saying to the layman. I think the quality of the information dictates how high up he is. Uh huh. Not what we know. Uh huh. Oh, do you got any water or anything? I gotta hydrate. I have tap water. Are you kidding? How did you find out who he is? Sources. What do you mean, sources? You got any Gatorade or anything besides, like, Maryland swamp water? Do you know how far this is from my place? How do you know his name? I know, I know what you mean. I don't want to end up on that damn Geraldo show. <laughs> he said they're gonna charge us with murder. Oh. We have to decide if we want to come out of this dead or alive. My eyes are wide open. Me too. I'm wide awake. Good. I'm so awake. I can't remember ever feeling this awake before. It's a different feeling. You know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. I don't know. I just... I just feel like... new. I feel like we have something to look forward to. We'll be drinking margaritas by the sea soon, mamacita. We'll change our name. How often do you... How often do I what? You know... Flick the bean. What bean? Ew! Gross. That's what you call it? No. Actually, I call it masturbating. But I thought that it would offend your delicate ladylike sensibilities. So, how often do you flick it? How often do you flick it? You only want me to answer that so you can picture me flicking mine while you are flicking yours. Trust me, I would never think of you while I was flicking it. If 
my husband hadn't gone on a diet, which caused me to leave him. I would have never been on that flight to Miami, met Rick, ended up having sex in the bathroom of a 727 with a little knob that you slide that says, vacant, occupied, vacant, occupied, vacant, occupied. You never told me you left your husband because he went on a diet. He lost all of the weight there. But a guy can't just... Can too. No. Yes. So that was it then. He lost all that weight there, and you left him. Plus, he fell in love with a temp. I need it. <laughs> How dare you speak to me that way in front of her? And I marvel that you could be so contemptuous of me on the same day that you lose your job. <laughs> lose it? I didn't lose it. It's not like, oops, where'd my job go? I quit. Now somebody passed me the asparagus. Oh, oh, and I want to thank you for putting me under the added pressure of being the sole breadwinner now. I already have a job. No, no, don't give a second thought as to who's going to pay the mortgage. We'll just leave it all up to Carolyn. You mean you're going to take care of everything now, Carolyn? Yes, I don't mind. I really don't. You mean everything? You're going to take on the sole responsibility? Your husband feels like he can just quit his well, job? Well, somebody passed me the fucking asparagus. I'm not going to be a part of this. Sit down. Cry. So you were a bridesmaid and you got kicked out of the wedding. It happens all the time. All the time. As your best friend in the whole entire world, I feel like I should probably be the one to tell you that this might have something to do with you and the wedding pool you started on how long the marriage would last. Ordinarily, I would find that hilarious. Yeah, but no. I have worked way too hard to get in with Julie and her family to take your side on this now. These people come to me all the time. They're loaded. They have a yacht. I need friends who have yachts. So I probably shouldn't be seen with you until after the wedding, okay? So dry eyes. Sorry, doll.